Alright, we're checking out the only games where you're attacked by a demon baby, you get watched while you sleep, and your stall partner in the bathroom is a tentacle monster. It's horror games. This game's supposed to be a horror about being on the toilet, but I'm gonna tell you... I don't feel that pressure at all. I don't feel the pressure of blood rising up from the ground either. Oh, that's interesting. I don't have a body. I'm just two pairs of... I'm just like a pair of... Tentacle just opened up my stall. No, God! What I was trying to say while my stall got violated by a piece of calamari is that was the cleanest stall I have ever seen in my entire life. Definitely since I was in Boston. Oh, apparently we all have to vacate because of weakened structural integrity. Honestly, if your toilet can survive a kraken, it can survive pretty much anything. I lost my magic marker. If there's one thing I love, it's vandals with a fantastic sense of humor. Do I have a reflection? Try F. I think the thing that this game doesn't understand is that I'm so inept that I won't even know that I'm supposed to be scared by a horror game. That is the best drawn water I have ever seen in my life. I love how the rest of the game is graphics and the water is like straight out of a SpongeBob cartoon. Ah, Dr. Shepper, a perfect blend of 25 different flavors of fecal material. Now, if you don't know, if you're ever concerned whether or not your dryer is getting up amperage, you can always put your tongue on the open wire. Here, let me show you. Yeah, that's about right. Oh, God! I'm not that stupid to try that again. <laughs> you must not know who I am! <laughs> oh, I literally died. You killed yourself. Now the mysteries of this place will never be solved. Oh, there's 12 different ways I could die? Challenge accepted! Attempt number two. Can I pick up the Dr. Shepper? I thought perhaps that would end up murdering me as well. Who fixed it? Oh, well, does that mean I can't put my tongue back on it? Does it work at least? No. Wash your hands, don't steal the restroom supplies, don't destroy the toilets, you're being watched. Define steal. There's something here in the trash I can pick up. Well, I think I just beat it downwards so far that I can't get it now. I'm sure it's not that important. We care about our customers. It's a patriotic tentacle. It says four and a half stars would poop here again. Have you seen this man? This man is a war criminal. It looks like every stick figure I've ever drawn, if I could draw slightly better than I do right now. Stop with the F already. They are really abusing the tentacles. Try F. Okay. Better lock the door. I don't know. Why can't I leave it open? I love that. Oh, I can swing my entire torso 360 degrees. That's hot. What's great about this is I have a I have a roll of toilet paper, but I actually have a secondary roll of toilet paper. Like someone threw away an entire fourth of a roll of toilet paper. Press C to cry. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I'm just sitting on the toilet, doors wide open, randomly crying. This is a top tier game. This is what I always wanted from my horrors, honestly. If you're waiting to hear me scream from some kind of jump scare, it's not going to happen because I'm going to forget. But I won't forget to cry. All right, well, I guess I can't get murdered without privacy. So, there you go. Chapter one, hand. I don't have any hands. If the chapter was leg, I would be able to... So is that sound effects or is that something going on in the... Or is that something going on in the stall next to me? Hey, bud. Any chance you got some, um, toilet paper? That is an entire hand just right underneath the toilet stall. His hand is actually so far over, he could almost touch my foot. That is very concerning. The sad part is I do actually have extra toilet paper, but you're not getting it for free. you got to work for this stuff, okay? Do you know how much I went through to get this toilet paper? Like, first I had to pick the right stall, then I had to cry for a while. I kind of wonder if crying will just make his hand go away. Like, listen, I'm, I'm busy weeping. Can you stop trying to massage my calf muscles, please? He's like, I will wipe with one of your shoes if I have to. Did it say I can just leave? Definitely said I could just leave. Here we go. But now I kind of want to come into his stall. Like, he tried to violate me. Looks like someone is in there. Someone is destroying a toilet. Did this say destroy? More. More. I'm Grace Del you. Don't you underestimate how many times I'm prepared to knock on this door. Just for the sake of argument, I put an auto clicker on just so that I could knock on this door like 500 times to see if anything would happen. All right, this guy has more patience than I do. The hand is still there. Hold on, can I step on the hand? Can I jump on the hand? Can I close this door so I can get a better handle on the hand? There we go. Here, if you push hard enough, I think I can actually jump into your stall. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Come on, baby. 
Get me there. He's like, your shoes are so soft. Yes, they're patent leather. Well, if I don't die, I feel like kind of a, I feel like kind of a failure. Maybe I can die out here. You left the restroom without destroying a toilet. <laughs> That's another ending. That's ending zero. Attempt number three. I want to destroy this toilet. There's no reason two people can't simultaneously destroy the toilet. All right. Start crying. Lock the door. So do I have to give him like the bad toilet paper? Can I give him this good roll of toilet paper? Do I have to be on the toilet while I'm giving him this toilet paper? Maybe I just click on him to give him the toilet paper. Oh. Oh. Yeah, just use the wide end. All right, or don't. Hold on, let me see what else is around I can give this guy. Hey, you like slurp up? Is, uh, is that what I think it is? Yes, everything that I'm giving you is exactly what you think it would be. You're not getting this toilet paper. Oh, actually, I need to move this. Hold on, you sit there. Now I can finally grab whatever was in here. I belong in the trash. Right click to zoom. I don't know why we need to zoom this much more than it is. Also, I have fantastic fingernails. I'm hoping that's ink and not just someone with no fiber in their diet. Actually... Yay. Oh, you, you didn't, you gotta grab it there, buddy. All right, or I guess you can just leave it there. I love how the game tells me that I failed because I didn't destroy the toilet when all I was doing was keeping the restroom clean for their convenience by not destroying the toilet. How about this crushed can? All right, what we're gonna do is put that in there, fill her up. That's hot, that's nice. You could probably use this like a makeshift bidet. Is that what I think it is? You are really high maintenance, you know that? This guy's impossible to please. All right, now just, just to try this, we're gonna take the toilet paper and I am going to give him soggy toilet paper. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm gonna lube that up. Okay. What if I just throw it over? Like, can I just do this? Sorry for interrupting your game play, but what you just did could break the demo. Please don't do that again. I can't be stopped. I'm great. Still plays. Oh, well, I guess I can be stopped. That looks delicious. Oh, I'm being crushed alive. I'm being crushed by the very thing that I would always order over at the Pad Thai place that's right near me. You got crushed by a tentacle. Now the mystery is that the place will never be solved. I feel like they absolutely just got solved. Step number four. Oh boy. All right, buddy, do the thing. I forgot, I gotta give him the uh, the war cry. There we go. Gotta let him know I'm in here. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the door. There we go. Now we're gonna give him the toilet paper for the first time ever. Thanks. Anything? Am I gonna get... Am I gonna get violated? Oh, the clock is made of sadness and blood. Did he just vomit part of his organs out? Hey. You okay? Oh, oh, it's like test answers for the midterms. Sweet. Don't show them. Wet it. Okay, that's just a bad writing. A bad writing. No, saying that, saying that is a bad writing is bad writing. Don't show them what? I'm assuming he means the toilet paper. I hate to tell you, good sir, but I have no ability to understand puzzles, like in these games, at all. If I throw this at you, does that also, like, break the game? <clears throat> Come on, baby, just slight, just slight over. Oh, yep, sure does. I don't care! Oh, the door is gone. Tastes like bacon. Waiting on you. All right, I'm gonna put it there, and now all he has to do is just reach out. <sighs> Seriously? Now I have to get up. I have to grab the toilet paper because I literally gave it to you and you backhanded my gift away. You're welcome. Do you have to go around to get the thing or can you just slide it into the toilet? Also, while... Don't leave. I didn't even have to pick that up to read it. I kind of knew what it meant. Too bad I can't read! <laughs> oh, Grace, do please! So what if... Obviously, I'm going to leave. Hold on. I can't... Man, I am really just terrible at... <gasps> the game actually crashed! Like it full on crashed. All right, we're back. This game is probably like, like I never thought someone would have so much trouble with chapter one. Don't leave. So I already left. So if I don't pick it up, is that okay? Or like, will the game break? Make him leave. Telegram. A telegram? 1908? I love how you can see my hand and the telegram, but you can't actually see the rest of my body. I would give that to him, but it would just break the game again. Can I take this off the... Well... <sighs> Whoops. Hey. Yeah, don't you cough at me. What is this? 
Don't show them. Wet it. No, you gotta, you gotta leave, man. Do you have something for me? Well, I mean, the administrator said you have to leave. And I need a different way to die in the game. Get out. Got another toilet paper over here if you do. Oh, wow. You actually can just give him another toilet paper. Hold on, let me try something. There you go. No, oh, all right. This is why I don't play basketball. There you go. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Zero for two. Let's go for three. Yeah. Thanks. Did you forget your magic marker or... Hello? What else could you want? I'm out of toilet paper. Here. Here's this clock. Hold on. Put that in the... Put that in the water too. I'm just washing it off for you, okay? Wouldn't want you exposed to any unfortunate germs. There you go. Oh, you don't want that, huh? You want to take that? <laughs> okay. Thanks. Oh, he actually did take the can. Like, he really wanted the can this time. Well, now the can is not a problem or what? I'm just gonna give him everything in the entire bathroom. You can have it all. I'm not using it. Thanks. Thanks. What are you doing with all this stuff? What the? Huh. I love that. Just the, the red. <laughs> I'm actually levitating on the, look at it, it's moving by itself, it's the clock, it has special spectral powers. <laughs> How about the I belong in the trash thing? Come on, it's, it's literally almost there. Tick. Hmm? Tick. Is this because I'm taking too long in the toilet? Look man, I'm trying. Oh. Oh, oh! I keep on thinking it's actually something in the game trying to kill me and it's just that- Really? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to wet the actual note. Could try that, I guess. All right, what's the secret here? Uh, all right, yeah, jump up here. Here we go. Uh, they watching. <laughs> oh, wow, they really are watching. Did you just Polaroid picture me? <laughs> the sad part is I actually can't show you what's in this Polaroid because you two will hate me for it. I do have something for you. Oh, I can actually take pictures with this. That's fantastic. Oh, is that a grenade just chilling out there? It is, it's a literal grenade. Oh, and a stock full of toilet paper. Kill him! <laughs> okay. Right click to pull the ring. So if I don't pull the ring and I just give it to him, what happens? Um, uh, is that? What I think it is? If you're not gonna use that, can I actually have that back? Hey, hey, try blowing up that wall. Here. Which wall? This wall? Eh, I'm sure it's fine. Yeet. Oh, probably should have thrown that a little bit further. I know someone out there right now was like, Gray was kidding about how inept he is. Oh, really? I love how my stupidity, though, allows me to find all the different endings in a dumb game like this. All right. I'm gonna angle this down. Watch this. Watch this right here, okay? Oh yeah, oh that's, this is totally working. Hold on, and boom! Here, you, you give it a try. Maybe you'll be better at it than I am. There you go. You can't take it, come on, man! Woo! All right, let's see if I can be less of a screw up than I was last time. Oh, this thing actually fell completely off. Maybe now I can give it to him. Polaroid, you're always such a disappointment. There we go. Hey! Oh. Just pretend that just pretend that there's a wall here and enter the void. <laughs> you got it. Does it count? Oh, it does. It does count. I mean, can I go around in the void? Do I get to see the entire like game back here? Hey, there. Yeah, I was. I was kind of hoping to go to the. Oh, I think I won. That's unfortunate. Hold on, we're we're doing something else here. I do want to pull that guy up. You know, it's a Gray still plays video when murdering someone is on my my bucket list. Oh yeah, look at all this toilet paper. I'm just gonna keep giving it to him just to see what happens. Like, how much does one man need technically? Like, what are you doing in there? I will give you every single piece of toilet paper in this entire bathroom. I got one roll left, brother. Are you done yet? You've been wiping for like 35 minutes. All right, man. Well, I guess murder's on the menu. Oh, I failed! Well. <laughs> yeah. You have something for me? I did, but I kind of screwed it up. Oh, thank God! There we go. <laughs> you killed your partner! It's always good when a game starts by telling me just, just pretend, pretend that there's, there's a, a hole, hole and enter, enter the, the void. void. I'm assuming that's the void. Into the... 
Well, that's good. So this is the continuation of the Toilet Chronicles. Oh, hey, my old land is still there. Can I go back in? I can. I don't even have to leave my friend. Here, you can have this, you can have this 1989 Polaroid camera. He doesn't want it. The thing I love about this clock is you can actually use it to see all of the demonic entities that are on the walls. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, the fact that all of the artwork is just fleshy chunks is kind of amazing. In fact, I'm gonna take this with me. Anything awesome going on in here besides a random axe just chilling out on the wall that I totally probably don't need to kill someone with? This joke was taken down because it was unfunny. Oh, it actually was taken down. Well, this joke was taken down, but it's still actually up. Can I take it down? I cannot take it down. Can I put this one back? I can't put this one back either. Can I beat it to death with the demon clock? I can, but it doesn't really do anything. Why is there a random banana peel on the ground? This is the type of banana peel that someone painstakingly peeled all four ways and left it out as spread as possible so someone could die. Who would trip on this? It's actually me, I would. <laughs> yes! I'm so glad that doing that results in that. <laughs> All right, let's try that again without me immediately dying. Grab the axe. Yoink. Boop. Right click. Oh, I have to, I have to constantly hold this thing. This is the swing I can do. <laughs> uh. Oh, it doesn't really do very much. If I can't, can I kill this banana peel? This banana peel did terrible things to me just a moment ago. All right, let us take a look at the rules of the public restroom. No joker dancing. Okay, then nothing. I couldn't come up with other rules. But I really wanted to, to add that joker meme. So what is the ticking? Why is the door yellow? Uh, I can't get through the wall. <laughs> I'm not allowed to go see my friend. Oh wait, I can totally see my friend again. <gasps> I didn't know you could just bust. Man, these stalls really need to get like reinforced with something. I gotta, ah, why is the, the ax levitating in midair? Turn off the water. Take care of him. Take care of him, like bring him with me. Private pile was here. Like bring him with me or just murder him? I feel bad just killing him. Can I pick him up? Oh, you can totally pick him up. Right click to get gnomed. Ah! I remember what you did to me, gnome. And this time there will be retribution. Take care of him. You got it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, well, it actually doesn't do anything. The gnome is completely immune to my axe. You know what? You take the gnome. Here. Get up in there. There we go. Don't do that again. <laughs> Why not? Hold on. If I do it again, do I die? You can't stop me, Dev. Oh, maybe you can. Nope. Can't stop me. I'm not stopping until I die or something else happens. Please. Don't do that again. There is definitely a death coming my way. Come on, baby. Let it, let it happen. You underestimate me. Stop. Ooh. Oh, I got Satan. You pissed off your neighbor and he crushed your pelvis with what? <laughs> All right, my plan this time is to live until I die. I'm not messing with the gnome. The gnome spells death every single time. I'm not messing with the banana peel. The banana peel is just as bad. I don't like colors. Do I have to hit the colors? Oh, I can kind of beat the colors down, but then the colors regenerate. You know what, I'm gonna draw. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So, oh no. Oh wait, hold on, I have an idea. Back in here, I distinctly remember behind this, there was a number. It was like a pink five. Let me own this real fast. Uh, five. How's that? What the? Yay! Am I allowed to go into the other bathroom? <laughs> okay, you know you've run out of budget <laughs> when it literally just says scary text. Should I be armed before I go into this bathroom? No, not the banana peel! I swear to God, if I land on this banana peel again. <laughs> All right, inside the scary text. The Lattice Washroom. Oh, I'm sorry. The Lattice Washroom. This is my very first time inside of the Lattice Washroom. I never expected the sinks would be vomiting blood. What is that? What is this? Make it look at you. Oh, it's a clock, but they already lost theirs. What's this say? Can I use this? Can I use paper towels? No? Can I clean the sinks? Hey, man. This party sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, slowly dissolving animal. Oh, there's a skeleton chilling out inside of the stall. Oh, it's got something in its hand. You died from cringe. 
Ending 60, really? I love how you can zoom just in case looking at it from this distance wasn't good enough. You know what, you can keep this. What do you have on your head? Oh, nine. Oh, green nine. What was Got really dark in there all of a sudden. The worst? Ah! Stop slowly trying to suck me into this bathroom. The worst toilet in Scotland. Okay, green nine. What happens if I stay in here? I'm, I've been, I've been, I've been dissolved. What is going on? <laughs> what happens in Scotland? How come everything just turns pitch black? Anyway, green nine. Oh, I almost did it again. Okay, so pink five, green nine. Go. Check. We're slowly getting there. All right, scary text. It's you and... I don't really know what... Another banana peel! Ah, they come in pairs! I don't know what sort of algebra I need to do to solve this. There's a, there's a door? Kind of a door. I have an idea. Whenever I'm faced with a problem, I always make sure to beat it to death with an axe! But that doesn't always work. Right, I'm really concerned. I need to make it past this... This banana peel without dying. There we go. Yeah, just this turns into absolute darkness in the corner. Really weird. I never knew that all of the women's restrooms just sucked the ambient light out of like the area. All right, that's fine though, because there's still plenty more doors like this one here. See, I'm staff, staff only. That's me. Hold on, I need to be armed staff. Where's my, there we go. You never know, okay? I like to walk around the office with my axe at the ready. What is the staff doing nope. here? Why does my axe keep randomly trying to escape? Okay, we got the Illuminati here. All right, main character enters the bathroom. I did that. After exploring, the main character enters the last stall. Yep, all this all this absolutely happened. Starts crying, yeah, I, I cry all the time. <laughs> okay, who did this? I don't know, are those coffee stains? Oh, here's a button. What happened? Wait, shift to run. Why, what happens if I don't run? What happens if I just sit here? Is that a problem? Is this a big deal? Do I have to run? Is that a banana peel? Oh no, it's mouse traps. Can I take the cheese off the mouse trap? Nope. Can I touch the mouse trap? I can step on the mouse trap. All right, I guess I'll uh... Oh, that man's not well. Oh wait, aren't you from SpongeBob? <laughs> I, I don't, oh, I don't have my ax. I love that this is an achievement. Okay, clicking on the button is bad. Man, these cheese things are everywhere. Oh, there's tons of toilet paper. It's everywhere in here. I've been missing. Oh, there's tons of clocks in here too. I don't want to take this with me. Hey there, mega crab. <gasps> behind the crab is Appa from The Last Airbender. Oh, behind Appa is some horses. Was that? Is that the sound of a demon? That sounded like the sound of a demon. Oh. There it is again. Definitely the sound of a demon. Okay, the, the sound of the demon is appearing from all sides. What happens if I press these different buttons? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Oh, come on. Come on. Make a funny noise. <laughs> Hold on one more time. I think that's the gnome sound. Turn into a mouse. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I got that. And then make the clock show the time. Oh, time went backward. Oh, show less time. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's just keep it at 10 o'clock. All right, we'll just jump on the bed over here and grab this dollar bill. Oh, I can't grab the dollar bill. The dollar bill is completely immune to my ability to grab it. Actually, it's not really a dollar bill. It's just kind of a happy bill. Well, guess I'm gonna become a mouse. Fortunately, there's tons of cheese. Oh, here, D-Dryery. Today, somebody glued all my stuff to the table and also under the table. Only my camera and one roll of toilet paper remain untouched. How convenient. Okay, can I pick things up as a rat? Or I guess a mouse, technically. I cannot. Can I die if I eat this cheese? Huh. I never would have thought I would have such a problem dying as a mouse. Isn't that something? Oh, I can jump, but it's like a sad mouse jump. Luckily, though, that means I can kind of get up like this. Well, sort of. I can't get up any higher. There we go. <laughs> I was having such trouble dying, but then I figured it out. <laughs> All right, camera. It's you and I now. Do the shooty thing. We get anything? Is there any evidence? How about this? No? How about you? Oh wait, that's me. Ah, uh, hmm. I have an idea. Here's what we're gonna do. Put this kind of one roll of toilet paper that we're allowed to use. Kind of put that there. Uh-huh. See this? And then 
I'm gonna put this kind of like that maybe and maybe now I can jump onto the table as a mouse If not, I guess I can just grab myself to sleep or play on this typewriter, which I cannot do Oh, actually technically I have these to get up there, too Hey, yeah, I just gotta put them at an angle see Oh, never mind. I was wondering what the demon sounds were. It's actually the- <laughs> It's actually these random paintings just vanishing into the ether. Alright, turn into a mouse. Boop. Okay. I'm so close. I just gotta get- Here we go. Uh. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Checkpoint! Oh, does the floor open up? Can I go down here now? Oh, the floor just straight up disappears. Can I still run with shift? The answer is no. I may always be running because I'm a prey animal. That is totally possible. All right, there's my sad hole of hopefully future living. Gullible. <laughs> so if you run down this hallway, I guess there's no re like there's no reason for you to die. You should know that you need to go there. But if you were dumb enough to make that turn, I guess they just allow you to look at the ceiling and- Oh, you're actually still there. You're just much larger. It could be behind me right now. It was, in fact, behind me right then. <laughs> Mouse. Oh, I think I just fell into a place you're really not supposed to go. Oh god, leave it to gray. A few hours later. Okay, let's try this again. Only this time, without, you know, attempting to, to body the guy that's 5,000 times my size. Out of the way, dollar store Squidward. I have cheese to eat. At least I hope I have cheese to eat. Do I get to eat the cheese? I get to go past the cheese. Mouse, human. Who are you? A human and mouse. I love how they're on completely different sides. Like, this is the mouse, but here's the choice. Here's the human, here's the human. My grammar's fantastic, but am human. Then prove it. I can't. I mean, I guess I can. What is this? What is it? What is it? If you wish to be a mouse, eat. Like a mouse. If you wish to be a man, pick up the sticks. Ratatouille. <laughs> Toilet paper, equal advice. I guess I can, there. I got the stick. You want me to do anything with it or do I need to grab both sticks? I don't know if I can get both of the sticks, man. There, I managed to get both of them somehow in one shot. Can I actually use the sticks to eat the cheese? <laughs> do I bring the sticks with me? Wait, do I have to bring the toilet paper with me? All right, hold on. I'll eat the cheese. Now what? <laughs> you just live like a mouse your whole life. I thought maybe it would bring you back to the beginning. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> the right choice. I love that, that that's the good ending. I love that out of all my options, just being a mouse forever is the appropriate one. Okay, there. That's probably the perfect ladder upward. This time, though, I won't go alone. I'll bring my toilet paper with me. Come here, toilet paper. All right, you and I. Let's do this. Ugh. I don't wonder how exactly I'm carrying this. Is this just... Is toilet paper just in my mouth? Am I getting like hepatitis or something from it? I really don't know. I don't know if this toilet paper is clean or not. I really hope it is. It looks partially used. I'm not going to lie. All right, well, we can't live forever as a mouse. So let me shove this inside of my mouse hole. I am 100% a human and I will prove it. I happen to bring this toilet paper for just such a task. All right, now give the toilet paper to the hole. There you go. Is that good? I have to bring the toilet paper over here? Was I supposed to- was I supposed to stay inside with the toilet paper or is exiting and leaving the toilet paper- Hi. Oh, I have a little mouse hand! Yeah, I did that! Why do I feel like I'm stuck now? Because <laughs> I think I was supposed to go in there with the toilet paper. One more time for science! Come here, toilet paper. We're inseparable, me and my toilet paper. We've been together for so long. Alright, now let's see what happens when I stay inside of the box with the toilet paper. It's very dark in here. We're all alone. You're trapped! I got the worst ending, yes! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh my god. This is infuriating. I just planned. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna trigger Squidward. And then we're gonna have to go behind him. That's the only thing I can think of at this point. I don't technically know if I'm faster than him. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh, he's pretty fast. <laughs> don't ask me how I did this. Um. I broke him. <laughs> I can't actually die. <laughs> Just end it already. There we go. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Oh, why? Sorry, for a moment there, I teleported through the ceiling. Everything's fine now. All right, here's the plan. I'm just not going to look at it. See? We're going we're gonna to squeeze... Well, I thought I could just squeeze past it. I thought maybe looking at it was what triggered it. Okay, toilet paper. 
Here's the plan. If I have you perfectly like this and I completely block the entire image of Dollar Store Squidward, is that good enough? Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh yes. See? I can't see him. Oh, this is happening. This is a real thing that's happening right now. Yes. Give it to me. No, don't you dare do it, mousetrap. Yes! Yes! Toilet paper, you've been with me for the- Uh. <laughs> oh, it's a little mouse room. <laughs> Wait, did Squidward die? <laughs> Oh no, he's gone! <laughs> okay. What is this? What is happening? What is this? What is this card? The end. No. No. Is it really? Wait, there was no story. <laughs> the game's actually narrating the fact that there's no story. Oh my god, achievement unlocked! Baby blue! <laughs> it's just a pair of legs. I was never anything else. They didn't have the, they didn't have the budget. <laughs> Yay! <The end. laughs> it's time for another game that's supposed to be a <laughs> That's supposed to be a horror game, but it does not totally understand my inability to experience fear like a normal human being. Is this a pizza delivery person or is this like my mom? I'm not gonna lie, my mom looks a lot like a mobile turnip. Also, I think my mom is a rabbit. Do you have to walk completely around my entire house judging my decor setup before delivering my pizza? Mama rabbit. How come mama rabbit has like an Instagram photo for her like profile shot? Better try to get some sleep. You're not going to sleep on like my chair, are you? Because that's what I use to watch anime. Is, what is this? Is this me or? I don't know if she's just very big or if I'm just really malnourished. Junior, what on earth are you doing up so late? Well, hopefully dying if the game works out correctly. You know you have school tomorrow, but mama. You and I both know school is totally useless. The man from the book is gonna get me. Now we're getting somewhere. Wait a second, man from the book. Are you telling me that I'm going to be murdered by education? See this storybook here, mom? Remember when you bought that for me because you said you didn't want me to sleep like a normal child anymore. Remember when you were like, my son hasn't experienced enough trauma in his life, so let me get him this book with Gru, the minions guy, staring creepily from the bottom part of the cover. Give it here. That's my book. Yep, all right, I guess you could just rip it from my clutches. The man from the window is quite the odd fellow. I like how they couldn't even be bothered to make the text like fit on the page. The text is like, I do what I want. With big beady eyes and sunken nose, he just wants to say hello. He sounds like a fantastic neighbor. Let's see, he searches for only one thing. A new friend is all he wants. He's very lonely. If you hear him tap, tap, tapping on the window, he's found a new friend to play. Then you have five minutes before he takes you away. The man is very bold. He will check inside the place which is cold. Do I have to lock myself in the refrigerator? If I don't, if like, like if I can't open the refrigerator back up from the inside, won't I just die? You're too young to be reading this. It'll scare your little mind half to death. Mama Rabbit, I don't think you understand how much the educational system has failed me. I don't understand what fear is. Ow. Well, guess we're both gonna die, Mom. Okay, Mom, he's starting to, like, break through the window. Can you, like, go get your gun? Dear Lord, this ain't good! So, um... Is it, oh, 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 it's me! Uh... Hello? All right, kid, I got two questions. Why don't we have any tables? And what are you wearing? Junior, follow me, stay here. Here, let's split up. That always works in all these different horror movies. Can I just go back to sleep on the couch? Oh, I could push it in front of the door. Yeah, absolutely. Two minutes well worth my time. There you go. Now we're fine. Unless he comes through the window. Anyway, you hungry? I thought it was pizza. I guess it's donuts. Eat the donuts. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Priorities, baby. <laughs> All right, grab the keys. Oh, I can grab this fork. I could probably fit myself under there and hide. Mama Rabbit, I don't think that's true. There ain't no way I'm fitting in there to hide. But Junior probably <laughs> Is that the microwave? Oh, oh, come here. <laughs> come here. Fo yeah, follow me. <laughs> All right, I got I got I got literally the awesomest place for you to hide. It was exactly 2 a.m. when the man approached the front door. It was left unlocked, but he was unable to open it. Ha <laughs> ha! Get wrecked. 
<laughs> oh, it took him a minute to break through the door. That's actually not that good. The man has found his new friend. Oh. You took- you took my child and not me? Well, that doesn't- I don't- that's fine. Alright, attempt number two to keep my son alive. Alright, follow me. You're going inside the microwave. No joke. All right, get in there. It might be a little cold, but you need to hide inside the break for a bit. And don't come out until I say so. And if you don't hear me tell you to come out, well, I'm scared. Shut up and get in there. <laughs> all right, now that that's all set up, let's see how the rest of the house is decorated. All right, we have a wash basin in here. Hide in the wash tub. Nah, we don't, we don't need to hide. That's no big deal. Uh, we got the sink over here. How about you? What's in here? Oh, it's a bedroom. Where does my son actually sleep? She goes, I can prop the chair up at the door, but it's not very sturdy. I know from personal experience. <laughs> yeah, why not? Go ahead. All right, I'm going inside the tub. Hopefully this works. All right, the man approaches the front door. He's unable to open it. An unsturdy little chair but you to bar the door. It takes him 30 seconds. You just broke my chair. I've only got one left, so now it's between me and my son. All right, so the man goes in. Where is he going to look? Are you serious? You're going to look inside of a microwave the very first place you would think of for a child to be? Are you kidding me right now? Ha! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> right, I'm running out of places to put you, kid. There, follow me. All right, step number two. Apparently, this guy's a psychopath because the very first place he thought of to put a child was the refrigerator. So, uh, there, go, go under here. There, hide under the sink. All right, there we go. We're gonna close the door. I'm gonna get inside the tub. Bam. Door was unlocked, so he walked straight in. Yeah, come on in. Why not? There's donuts to the left if you want some, by the way. You're not going to find a child inside of the microwave for, like, the first time in my parental life. Oh, he's just walking straight past it, isn't he? Hey! <laughs> Don't see me, do you? <laughs> oh, come on! Uh, you know, technically, he's still hidden. Because that bar is in the way. All right, kid, I'm getting to the point where I'm literally just going to throw you out the window to the guy. Because, like, hiding you is pointless. Okay. All right, get under the table. Doesn't really look like the best hiding spot, but it'll have to do. Right, I'm taking the keys. I'm going to open this box of donuts. Maybe that'll lure them over there. All right, now I'm going into the tub because, again, I think it's the only place I can legitimately hide. All right, the man goes in. You like calories? Yeah. Right on the left over there. Yum, yum, yum. Spotted a box of donuts. See that? Totally worked. Got him. Took a minute to eat them all. Now he has diabetes. No joke though, if you can finish an entire box of donuts in 60 seconds, that's incredible. The time is now 2.01. Oh, my son lasted for one minute. One full minute. Okay. Where we go? Where are we heading to? Ah, there's nothing inside of here though. Yeah, what are you gonna do about that? Looked under the bed, no child there, but he found nothing. Actually, while you're under there, could you like vacuum like all the way to the back of the bed? Because I know you got like really long spindly arms. Or don't, that's fine too. Wow, I am like not hidden at all. Looked under the sink. Also, is it just me or are those not like the biggest rolls of industrial sized toilet paper that like, have ever been seen ever? Also, I just noticed my son didn't put the toilet seat down. I'm gonna slap him. All right, found nothing under there. My son has now lasted for two full minutes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's next? What do we got? What do we got for me? Oh, you're gonna look under the table, huh? Sorry, kid. Well, suck. All right, I got a new plan. Here's what we're gonna do. You follow me. I never thought it would take me so much effort to keep a child alive. Sounds weird. All right, open the donuts, grab the keys, push this in front of the door. All right, little Beatus, follow me. All right, go into the bed. I'm gonna go in here. Never mind, I'm actually too big to fit past the door. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go in here. I wonder if I can put my son inside the toilet. Okay, here we go. He has to break down the door full minute. He gets inside. Now he has to contract diabetes. Another full minute. Hey, okay, yeah, here we go. Also, I just noticed there was two donuts missing. Did I, like, eat those simply on the way home to feed my child? All right, it's 202. Oh, my son's dead. All right, kid, get inside the refrigerator. I swear to God, I'm gonna make this work. I don't care what it takes. That saving a child is like playing a game of freaking Tetris. I never thought there was that much effort that went into it. All right, now, donuts gone. Could you at least throw the box out when you're done? Nope. All right, or don't. All right, now he's going to go look under the bed, but it's not going to matter because the kid's not there. So he always follows the same pattern, which means it's really bad for me because my memory sucks. 
I hate my life. After getting my son murdered in literally every possible way, I have finally figured out how to keep this kid alive. The, actually, I shouldn't say I figured it out. The only reason I think this is going to work is because it's the last way. Like, he has died every other single possible way that there could be. Open the donuts, put the thing over there, leave the keys on the table, bring the kid into this room, get under the bed, close the door, open this door, into the tub. I swear to God, at this point, if you find my child, you can keep him. All you have to do is make sure that the man screws around for five minutes straight. The, the couch has actually been more useful than me as a parent at this point. The couch bought an entire minute, and the donuts are gonna buy another minute. All right, it's 2.02. We're like 50% of the way there almost. Now, as long as he doesn't look in the tub, even though I'm like very obviously in the tub, everything should be just fine. There we go. I love how he's just like, nah, I'm not gonna systematically check things. I'll just keep going this way. All right. Looks under the refrigerator. 2.03. Two minutes left to survive. Oh. Okay, apparently he does not do the same thing twice. Okay, I finally figured out how to make this broken glass sandwich to work. So I have to read this real quick. Okay, he's gonna check the microwave. Then he's gonna check the, the table. Then he's gonna check underneath the sink. Okay, so the tub. Okay, so it's the mirror and the tub. Got it. This is totally working. We're actually gonna survive. All right, first things first. Grab the keys. Bam. Right there. Second, put open this box of donuts filled with arsenic. Although I guess if it was filled with arsenic, I wouldn't have to go through all this. Lock the front door. Move the couch in front of it and don't get stuck in it because you have no idea how many times my gigantic character has gotten stuck inside of the couch when I pushed it up against the door. Come here, little junior. The only thing you're good at is dying. Follow me. All right, we're moving along. Lock this. Open this door. Come here, get inside, hurry up. Move your stubby little legs and get <laughs> under the sink. I have watched you get abducted like a thousand times. I'm scared, you wanna be scared or you wanna be dead? Get in there. <laughs> okay, now, lock this, boom. I get in here and this is totally gonna work. Here we go, for the first time ever. <laughs> Both me and my son are going to survive. I love that the whole, that like the MVP of this entire scenario is the door. The door literally saved my child more than my entire parental abilities. So it took a minute and a half to break through the door and the lock. It really annoys me though, because he's going through my house and he just destroys everything like a jerk. I can't even afford tables to put my lamps on. And you have to come in, you have to eat all my donuts. By the way, you have no idea how much I wanted the last place for me to live to be underneath that table. So I could pick up a fork and just stab him in the groin. So again, an entire box of donuts in one minute. That's gotta be some kind of professional record. All right, now he's gonna go in here. He's gonna open the door. And by open, I mean he's going to punch it to death until the, the lock falls off. Cause we can't have nice things in this house. <laughs> All right, now he's gonna check underneath the bed. Nothing there. It kind of annoys me that this whole time, like the winning thing in this game was literacy. Like I would, I never would have guessed. All right, gonna look inside of the refrigerator. What do you know? Often he finds children in there, but not today. <laughs> okay, so now it's gonna be 204, and now he's gonna go ahead and he's gonna check the table. Yes! Oh my god, I've never felt so satisfied in just making a man waste five minutes of his life. That's really all that I've done. And now, because he has to sit there and break the last lock I have in the house, he can't do it. His time was up, and he knew it. So as quickly as he arrived, the man from the window left. He didn't leave from the window, he just ran out the front door! <laughs> You're a liar! And now, the mother and son can both get diabetes together. Finally! I love that the story intro is you're just another homeless customer. You have to stay five nights. You know it's going to be fine. It always has been. Ominous. Night number one. 
Why am I homeless when I'm inside of the hotel now? I mean, I guess I don't own it, but at least I have a place to not get stabbed in the kidneys. Unless that's the entire purpose of the hotel. If you want to stab me in my kidney, you can just have it. I'm not even sure I'm using it right now. Can I have your best non-tetanus laden room, please? Oh, you guys got a food court? Not only do they have a food court, they have a sad plant in the corner. This plant looks how I feel. Never mind. I guess I can't go into the food court. Shrek, I got a question. If I eat in your food food court will I become a cannibal there's people being served in the food court isn't there I know how these games work I can't use the toilet either please tell me Shrek is voice acting oh hello there oh, welcome yeah. to Shrek's hotel how can I help you I don't like it's me trying to be Sh Shrek basically like me trying to do a Scottish accent you can help me by murdering me in the first 30 Hi, seconds can I get a room for five nights please <laughs> the guy who does the voice acting for my character is fantastic too sure we have an empty room on the second floor all right great why does it have to be the second floor it just makes me walk further to get killed I know that you're here to scare me I'm just not sure it'll work because my entire life is pain also, do you notice that if Shrek were to leave this counter, he would immediately get his head severed? The fan is as tall as he is. You can't really see him, so it's totally possible that he is already scalped. This isn't the top of his head, it's just brain. Let me get to the food court. I like tacos. Can I interact with him again? I said we have an end room <laughs> on the second floor. I do appreciate that they put an extra voiceover for him there. I can't leave, can I? Nope. All right, well, worth a shot. Also, do you notice that we're walking like we're already drunk? I guess if you're gonna start a, a like a yeah. game like this, was that was that a sound effect? Did, did a human do a sound effect for that door? <laughs> oh God! Oh, this game is amazing. I hope that all of the sound effects are done by the guy. Like, all of the sound effects. Footsteps. Everything should have been done by the person. Here, I'll close the door. Mm. Not... <laughs> Not because I'm a decent human, just because I wanted to hear the sound again. Is there anything in the garbage to eat? I, I need to put you guys in touch with an interior decorator. Yeah. Your lighting scheme is... Oh, mm. hi. Can I make you talk to me? Your lighting scheme is awful. It's just the same Unity asset lamp everywhere. But just one. Like, dare we put two inside of the same room? Now, usually if you check inside of a dead donkey mounted on a wall's head, it'll have money in the mouth. Let's take a look here. Now, you can get, you can get real close. You can see the back of the tongue <laughs> from right here. How many health violations are inside of this hotel? You know there should be a banister here. Like a railing to keep you from falling to your death. Can I fall to my death here? I can't even fall to my death. I don't have that level of skill. Is there a jump button? There's not a jump button and there's not a sprint button. There's no there's no crouch button. There's no duck button. There's nothing. <laughs> so real quick, did you hear another door is opening, but it's that guy? <laughs> oh, I didn't do it again. So which room is mine? He didn't. There's no numbers on any of the rooms. You guys are terrible at this. There's a painting with nothing in it. You guys are terrible at this hotel thing. I, I'm assuming that's my room. I don't know though. First things first. I would love a lovely chill, chill sing cider. Is there anything alcoholic? Oh wow, you guys just, you guys just straight up using the real items, huh? Just pulling Pepsi right off of Google Images. How's this dresser taste? I know that's an odd way to try and categorize a dresser. It's quite normal in these types of games to get inside of the dresser so deeply that you end up eating the fabric within. Ah, uh, I need to take a dump before sleep. As, as all men do, I understand that. Let's, uh, I still want to see what this bedroom is like. Can you sleep anyway? Ah, uh, I need to take a dump before sleep. Duh. No, he will, he will remind you over and over <clears throat> again. At least they give you a shelf. What are you going to put on the shelf, you might ask? Regret. <laughs> Regret for coming here. Going downstairs to the toilet, I suppose. I'm still going to try every single door before I leave you now. Again, close the door. <laughs> God. Sup, boys? Anything inside your mouth still? No. I'm checking the donkey's <laughs> breath. Okay, you never know. Excuse me, where is the toilet? The toilet is over there. Oh, uh, Tre uh, Trek is fully animated, too. This is top dollar Don't stuff going on. Pissing on the walls. 
up Shrek went from, I don't know, he went from Scottish to Russian or something? Ah, uh, yes. Good old, good old Moscow, Scotland. I guess his head does follow you if you move around. I feel kind of bad that he told me not to urinate on the walls because one of the things I do enjoy doing is always urinating all over the walls. Actually, you know what? You can watch me while I do this. Who is this hotel made for? Am I just really short or is everyone else just really tall? No, it's not that. Because if you were tall enough to look inside of this mirror, you too would get severed by the fan. The entire build of this hotel is just awful. Keep the door open. <laughs> I love that he just stares effortlessly at the door while he blows it up. Can you pee on the walls? I had to check, you never know. There could have been an area where you press E to interact on the walls. This is still night number one. I'm gonna leave that door open and let that air out. Do you ever get annoyed at this, Shrek? Does this door open two different ways? Hold on. That's incredible. I had no idea. All righty. Night number one. 100% still alive. No big deal. Oh, let me try all the doors. Wardrobe still tastes like a wardrobe. Pepsi is still being copyright infringed. Good. I can go to sleep. I also won't close this door. People can watch me while I sleep. No, In fact, I'd appreciate no. it if they would. Night number two. Why am I starting on the bottom? What is this? Is your Unity asset just sideways or is something going on here? Are you the gingerbread man? I love it. The gingerbread man's labor laws are being violated. He's forced to clean this floor for like $2 an hour. Last night, you took a big dump in my toilet. Yikes. Took me a long time to clean it. Do you notice that the further this game goes along, the more his voice gets away from the Scottish voice? Now you have to help clean up the toilet floor. I'm pretty sure I... I I poop vomited into the toilet. It shouldn't have gotten on the floor. I can't even open up the door. Did it come out all the way out here? I'm pretty sure your floor looked like this before I got I there. I said go and clean up the toilet. Sup, buddy? Oh. What did you just say? What did you just say? <laughs> Is he sobbing? Is he sobbing giant icing tears? <laughs> Here, let me clean you. Let me get rid of you. Oh, it just, it goes right through him. No wonder he's crying. Being violated by the broom. Oh. Come on, doesn't that make you happy? You don't like the sound of the door? Can I just take this upstairs? Nope, I'm being locked in. Is the food court still not open? What is this? Press E to interact. There you go. Clean. Oh, they won't let you out until the floor is clean. Now I understand why this is a horror game. I'm forced to work. I don't have a choice. Those are some big stains on the ground, man. I don't know if that's all for me. I will say, though, this broom is incredible. It, it straight up brooms the bad pixels right out of the game. Oh, I can also clean the toilet, like literally just right down the drain. There you go. In fact, now, now nothing will get done because now the tip of the toilet is just covered in like human excrement. Everyone gets dysentery! Yay! Dysentery Simulator 2024. Oh, I don't get to keep my broom? I did your job for you. Stop crying. I did your job for you. Hey, tell him to stop crying. I did his job for him. Also, I think I mentioned this yesterday. Your entire hotel's a safety hazard. Can I use the bathroom again and just blow it up a second time? The cool thing about the bathroom, like the thing that really blows my mind, is that as messed up as this entire hotel is, he actually took the time to put down a safety sign. <laughs> That's the one thing he did, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is, it is, hold, hold on. All right, just had to check. Good night, donkey. Oh, hi. Are you, you, uh, you room service or? This guy couldn't find the food court either. See how malnourished he is? This is why you need to open the food court. I, who was that? The run animation that they gave that character. This, this, this game is a 10 out of 10. I've already decided it. In fact, I, I give this game a 12 out of 10. There's no numerical score that can truly determine how good this game is. 
going to sleep. I don't feel sleepy. Oh. Maybe I should take a look at the painting. All right. We'll take a look at the paintings and the voice acting. Let's take a little look see over here. Oh, yeah. I love gazing into the abyss. <laughs> I oh love, no, what have I done? I love sneezing all over the paintings! I should do something. No, you shouldn't just leave it there. What's gonna what's the worst that's gonna happen? You give everyone the flu? Run away! Hide painting! I guess hide it. Oh sweet, do I get to die? Oh yeah! Oh! Oh, I am inside of Shrek's stomach. I was in his belly, and his belly was very angry. Do I have to clean everything all over again? They make you go through the entire process of cleaning the floor again. Hey, let me in your room. No, who was that? No, it stops you before you get in. I wanted to, uh, uh, get a better look at the guy. I wasn't going to mug him for his money. Look, I'm homeless, okay? Give me a break. I don't even know what I'm paying to stay here. I, don't I love how it says, take a look at the paintings, like plural. There's only one, it's this one. <laughs> The sneezing is some of the best voice acting in the entire game. Run away. Okay. Here we go. You wouldn't come into another man's room, would you? Yep, sure would. I love hearing the sounds of your tears. <laughs> Give me your wallet! Who was that? All right, we're taking the painting. Oh, that was close. That was... That was it? That's what hiding the painting is. I didn't hide it. I did, I did the same thing I did the last time. I'm not Who answering. could it be? I'm not answering the door. The last time I answered the door, I got murdered. Well, I think I was murdered. I could have been digested. I'm not really Hi, sure. How could I help? Just chicken in. They had some noise coming from upstairs. I was just violating your painting. Like, salivally. I didn't hear anything. Are you sure? I will say Shrek is now like 65% more Scottish. Yes, everything is fine. All right, good night then. All right, <clears throat> close the... I was gonna say, please close the door when you leave so I could hear it. <laughs> night number three, still alive. Well, sort of, I'm, in, I'm on like my eighth live. What's up boys, Grace still plays here. You guys whispering behind my back? Your toilet functioning? Is the food court open? <laughs> What should I eat? But pizza, banana, burger, Chinese food. I love how all of these are specific options. And this is just an entire genre. Give me the genre. I love that there's two other open tables and I have to very creepily sit with a total stranger. Are you eating like the diet burger or something? How do you hey, stay that Hey, how are you doing? Hi, I'm Carl. Carl? Carl, you want some extra calories, bro? Nice to meet you, Carl. Is that it? Is that it? Is that our conversation? All right. Guess I'll eat my Chinese food. Whoa! I ate the entire Why? box. High in fiber. Later, Carl. Can I have another one? Oh, you only get one per person? All right. I'm here to obliterate your toilet again. All right, maybe not. Donkey, how you doing? Anything? Oh, I still have the painting. <laughs> I'm just keeping that until I leave, I guess. What sort of things? Oh, the painting is still there. Oh, night three was very uneventful. I didn't even have the opportunity to die. Oh, now he's just gone. He's not even here anymore. Are we moving out? If I survive the five nights, do I get to keep the entire hotel? Like, do I become lord of the hotel? I'm curious what happens when the gingerbread man goes to the bathroom. Does he just like vomit out a bunch of kitchen spice? Oh wow, just everyone left. The fact that there's no people around leaves me kind of curious where exactly that Chinese food came from. I always told you I was going to be eating other human beings. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Is the plant still here? Plant's still there, I'm happy. Anything weird happening up here? Did you do this to my great, great grandpa picture? Depends. Your great, great grandpa and I are just much closer now because some of my DNA is on his picture. <laughs> I have had enough of your troubles. Okay. Now you must pay this off by working a night shift for me. Okay. I don't, I don't really, how, how long? Is it like six to six? Go or? downstairs and bring the boxes upstairs, then put them in the warehouse. The warehouse. All right, comrade Shrek. If I try and go past you, do I die? Come on! Won't let me do it. Hey, Shrek. My DNA is all over your painting again. 
Hey, gingerbread guy, help a brother out, man. On the plus side, I think I'm allowed to go into the staff only area now. I'm technically staff, even though it's just temporary. Excuse me, good sir. Oh. Right. Maybe not. Oh, this is the warehouse. I thought this was someone's room. What in God's name is going on over here? This looks like my bedroom. You may be saying to yourself, Great, do you have a bunch of medieval weaponry just hanging on your wall in your bedroom? Obviously. Who wouldn't? You're going to make me do this all three times? You couldn't just put two boxes down here, game dev? You had to put three. Hey, my man. Carl, help hey, my brother out. how are you doing? Hello, I'm fine. Do you need any help? Oh, I can kind of see him from this position. Your neck is 18 inches long. That is incredible. Thanks. It would be great if you could bring a box upstairs. Oh, whoa. Oh, hold on. Take me with you. Take me with you. Hold on. <laughs> when I go upstairs, he's going to be dead, isn't he? Oh, I heard the door open and close. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Good boy. Now you can go sleep. Now you can go sleep. Good boy. Please don't ever call me that again. It, it really violates everything I know in life. Let me see what's inside your wallet. Carl, thanks for the help. You want a Pepsi, dude? I know I've told you this before, but if you want to watch me sleep, I'm leaving the door open for you. Midnight. Zero o'clock. Okay. Walls. Painted red with bloody urine. Joke's on you, game. I've been drunk plenty of times. I know exactly what this is like. You make it very hard for me to see anything, don't you? You can't enjoy the death if you can't see it coming. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, Carl. Oh, he lost a hand. His hand fell off. I didn't think the box was that heavy. Carl, you'll never guess what happened. The light started bleeding. Yikes. This is what happens, okay? When they don't give their lights enough vitamin A. Oh, he's been stabbed. I thought that was a hand. <laughs> I thought... I thought the knife in his chest was his arm sticking upward. Whoops. <laughs> ah, that's why I'm not a detective. Carl, you will be missed. Give me a wallet. Look, he's not using it any- Well, I, uh, oh, hold on. Did my, where am I? My inside of the warehouse? I was busy robbing another human and I got, I got obliterated by the Shrek colon. That's kind of what it is. It's like a, it's like a Shrek in the shape of a colon. Ugh. Man, I. Oh. Ah, uh, I feel strong. <laughs> Do you? Is that what Pepsi does? It says on the back to not drink more than once in your lifetime. What is this Prime? I might overdose. I might overdose. Yeah. Absolutely drink one more. Are you kidding me? Have all five. Oh yeah. Oh. You died to overdose. <laughs> if there's a way for me to die, I will find it. I'm gonna run while I'm drinking. Oh, I think I've been in prison. Does this mean uh, I get to I feel strong. get to break out the prison bars with my newfound prime strength? All right, here we go. You ready? Ready for this? Lam Night Shyamalan! Yeah! Oh man, call his name and he shall appear. Why are all these boxes human-sized? I feel weak again. Oh, oh, it's USPS priority mail. Is there a real person's name on here? Hold on. <laughs> God. Oh, these are going to uh, Noob Sabot or something from, uh, from Mortal Kombat. Oh my God, you're alive. Thank God. I thought you were dead. He's like, listen, I've been stabbed in the chest many times in my lifetime. Fortunately, my heart, just like my body, is so thin that most people miss let it. Let me see if I can find something to let you free. I can only drink one prime in a lifetime, so. Just walk through the crater I made over here. Yeah, let's take one of these. I'll give it to uh, Malnourishment the Mighty over here. Here you go, buddy. Here, take this energy drink and drink okay. it. The ice oh, that's a problem. Well, oh, the, the bars over here are gone. Well, that's good. I kind of want to die just because that's basically what I do, but I have a feeling I already know what the death scene looks like. It is the sad, saggy colon. 
All right, I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is you're gonna get out of here. The bad news is the second I give you this, Trek is gonna come barreling through that gate like the Kool-Aid man. Here, take this energy drink and drink it. Oh, Alrighty. Yeah. You know what would be great? The ability to not be drunk for once in my life. If I could run more than five miles an hour, I might have the opportunity to survive. I wonder if I go backwards the same speed as going forwards. Oh, it's just an open room with nothing in it. I am cornered. Here he comes. He's prepared. Prepared to end a life. Oh, he comes. Oh, yeah, baby. It is Chatticus the Mighty rolling on in over here. Now, Thanos versus Shrek. Look at them size each other up. Shrek's like... I've been getting hit by that fan in the entry room of my hotel for the last 16 years. A bazooka, he catches the bazooka from the top rope. Oh, it's gonna be an RKO out of nowhere. Right there, Randy Orton takes down Shrek, and we have it. <laughs> hey, thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed the game. Don't you dare to not subscribe to our website. Ah, uh, yes, just a normal day, making my $9 an hour babysitting the Lord of Time Space Continuum Distortion over here. You can see my employer's gun safe, which obviously I was never supposed to go into. He figured if you put enough post-it notes everywhere, I would get the idea. Oh, it's my, oh, there's more than one. I remember I duplicated the baby. I realize now I probably shouldn't have done that, not because I have a problem getting my flesh torn off of my body or staring directly into the Dark Lord's eye, but because I don't think I get paid any more money by taking care of more children. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of surprised that I stayed in this job long enough to make it to Christmas. Can I go back through the door? No. <laughs> the game just straight up tells you it's snowman building time. Are these candy canes edible? The one thing about this game is always finding stupid ways to do stuff. I really hoped I could just jump to my death, but that's not possible. How about eating bad for you mushrooms? Oh, make a snowball. Do I, ooh. Oh, I now have a snowball. Roll it in the snow. I kick it? Yep, you legitimately just kick the snowball. What is going on over here? Finish building your snowman first. Hats, take a hat. I don't want that hat. Different hat. Oh. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, game! <laughs> How many hats am I allowed to have? Can I just sit here and click on this for the next five minutes and have an unlimited amount of hats? At what point does the game begin to stop functioning? I'm kind of curious. What if the hat I want is on the bottom of this pile? There we go. Just the leaning tower of stupidity is in the way now. Look, whenever a game tells me I need to do something, you really think that's going to be the very first thing that we do? You never know, all right? There may be a bottom to this box of hats. It is totally possible that at the bottom, I could find the meaning of the universe or something. The baby's up there in space somewhere right now being like, just grab a hat. Oh, hi there, black hole. I think that may just be an extra dimensional blotting out of the sun. Uh oh, where's the box at? <laughs> <laughs> I got- I got- I grabbed so many hats the box is covered. Maybe saying to yourself, Are you- are you legitimately considering using an auto clicker just to grab more hats? The pile is not big enough. Auto clicker. Go! Oh my god! Well, that's how the game was meant to be played, folks. <laughs> I just need to check something real quick. Oh my god! <laughs> let me uh, let me uh, let me fire, let me fire a, cu a couple of over this way. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go grab a drink real quick. Okay. <laughs> this baby was over here thinking he was gonna destroy all of existence. 
I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me. Okay, what am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> can you... Can you, like, make... Oh, my God. <laughs> Hold on, I need it. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, no. I was curious if you could make, like, unlimited snowballs as well. You you can. <laughs> Do I just need one body or can I make, like, ah, my body just went flying off. It's almost big enough. I'm just I'm just keeping the auto clicker down at this point because it's amazing. Don't you fly off the side of this mountain. I may need you for something. All right, so I assume you put it on top of the pickup body. I always love it when a game tells me to pick an entire body up off the ground. Build body. Boom. Requires head. I got- Oh, there's arms! Hold on! Yay! You should have told me sooner! Weeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Now that may look terrible, but he's he's very uh, stalwart. Okay, he does have the power of a thousand suns within his body. I was gonna ask what happens if you auto clicker the child. Uh, you just allow him to move one inch at a time at over the speed of light. Now it is time for the baby's bath. You understand. There we go. Doing good. Yep, just wash up in there. Memory of the fallen. Oh. Well, that's, uh, disheartening. Do you like candy canes, young child? How does the candy- Oh, the candy cane does not have a workable asset. Look through viewfinder. Okay. That looks- Oh. Uh-oh. Uh, take film out. Hold on, I didn't get the baby in the picture. Sorry, sorry. Here, just sit on top of the rake. Like, or, you know what, hold on here. I, I got a hand right here for you, literally right there. No, no, you have to hold on to it. Kid. It's right, per no, just kind of just, yeah, right, right there, right there, perfect. Oh, that is glorious. I couldn't have planned that any better. Can I take this photo over again? All right, take the take the photo out. That looks nice. Oh. Uh, uh, I mean, I know it wasn't that comfortable just sitting on top of frozen snow with like a two by four as your only seat. All right, I guess I'll go develop the film in the dark room. Also, I gotta tell you, the parents, I, I gotta know what their jobs are. Because to have your own elevator inside the house, now this could just be the apartment, I guess, but I'm pretty sure they own just all of this. The reason why I say that is because you'll notice that all of the decor is the same slowly mutating demon child over there. See that? Right there. Tentacle apocalypse. Okay? Very common. Turn the valve. You got it. See that? Incredible vacuum of death. Alrighty. Oh, a recording. Log 232. Is, are you, you still owe me $34. I mean, you can pay through Zelle or, I mean, PayPal, but you have to use friends and family, otherwise they tax me. Can I turn on this candle? No. So I think I'm supposed to go in there. Why can't I just not? <laughs> oh, it's because I don't have a choice. Everything else is locked. All right, well, I would hate to be able to leave. So let's go ahead and close the door behind us. Alrighty. This is no time for photography. This is exactly the time for photography. That's why I came here. Hey, where's your dark room at? Also, why did you take a bite out of the chair? And why is your wall bleeding? You know what happened the last time my wall started to bleed in Florida? We found like 80,000 bees. Oh, did you just, I'm pretty sure your eyes just turned into demonic spheres of death. You can't lie to me, I know that. I know I saw it. I know the Elder God's in there somewhere. It's gotta turn fast enough. The turn fast enough. Huh. All right, I'll let you go. You can just, you can just keep on keeping on, I guess. Here we go. Differences in perspective. I don't know, the, the one perspective I see is that this, this snowman is looking at me very judgmentally, just like that eyeball. It's broken. Ah, here we go. Oh, all right. I love how I'm not really doing any kind of babysitting anymore. Insert film, sure. Okay, oh, all right, well, didn't like the taste of that film. I guess I'll develop it first. Although honestly, it looks pretty good. Oh, that's really bad. When, you're, when your developed film begins to mutate and then levitate in the air of its own accord, I feel like that's not Kodiak quality let us just say. And you know, when the water itself begins evaporating or turning into demonic, I don't know what that was. It looked like little mandarin orange slices. Anyway, go ahead and insert the film here. Go ahead and tell me a story about uh, what I've created. Or you can, you can open up a supernova. It's fine too. Boop. Got blank film. All right. Did that say feed me? I'm pretty sure that said feed me, but I was foolish and I clicked on the door ahead of time. Apparently I don't even have to go in there if I don't want to. Play recording. Mm-hmm. Okay, you keep doing that. I still want my $34. Pick up hammer! I love how out of all the things I could be using here, there's like bottles and hammers. I love the directions, hold on. Bottle in the milk. Oh, we got rubber ducks, very good. What you got in the fridge these days? A oh, watermelon slice. Uh, some pickles. 
we have infinite pickles? Sure do! Uh-oh. Oh, God. Okay, the, uh, the... Oh! You done? Are we done? All right, we're done. Oh, somebody made cookies. Hmm. Oh, that is delicious. Oh, a demon cookie. That's adorable. I love demon cookies. <laughs> they had to put that sound effect in the game? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. 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 Hold on. <laughs> oh, it's an emergency pacifier with a, uh, like a demonic ruin on it. Nothing's on fire <laughs> yet. <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> oh, young child. <laughs> Come here. Oh, I can't pick him up. I wanted to have you see your brand new oven that they installed for you. He's like, I remember the last time you you showed me the oven gray. <laughs> well, to be fair, I showed you the inside of the oven. Oh, little Satan plushie over here. Had to just burn that. Alrighty, don't you worry. We'll have dinner in just a second. You know, formula is very expensive these days. So do. Oh. Oh! Oh my God! Oh! All right. <laughs> I was like, maybe I, maybe I should turn off the auto clicker. Honestly, now I don't know if I want to turn off the auto clicker. Where do all the ducks go? Can you only have so many? Oh, you can. They disappear, huh? All right. Anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and do this. I don't even want to know what kind of animal this milk is from. Here you go. Feed the baby. <laughs> How come everyone farts? I do, the baby does, take the baby to the changing table. Where is the, t oh, I can pick you up now. Hey! Now you may think that this is very evil, but this child is 100% is flame proof. Okay, 100%. This has, this has been already decreed years ago that this child has full immunity to fire. You can see it right there, no big deal, okay. To be fair, he's... What's that? It's not, the parents aren't home yet, are they? I'm not done yet. Oh my God. Now, I was gonna say, to be fair, this isn't really a child. It's, you know, whatever, the elder God. Okay. Hey! Look at how much fun he's having. <laughs> you put like cheese on the baby? Throw a pickle in there. Oh, do you see it right there? Demon eyes again. 100% those were demon eyes. Oh, I'm gonna catch him this time. Got him! Before he hit the ground, too! Come on, now! <laughs> Alrighty. Here we have the cauldron changing table. Just sit there for a second. A hole in the wall here. With, uh, you know, some of the, uh, the Grim Reaper looking at me. Very good. Excellent. Requires two- you know what? Yeah, just start throwing stuff together. What's it matter? There we go. Two of my favorite colors right there. Beautiful. Okay. That looks very safe to drink. Hey! You still thirsty? Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, that is absolutely supposed to happen. Right there. Nuclear baby! Okay, hold on. Does the nuclear baby give you a nuclear explosion? This is incredible. Whoa! Okay, now, now I'm legitimately curious. Hold on. But how about pink and green? All right, here we go. Small. Oh, it's a mini baby. It's just a slightly smaller baby. Keep the ring spinning. No. No. Pink plus something equals we don't know. Oh, you get like super heavy baby. Green and red. All right, what's super? Oh. Well, that's horrifying. It's like the Stay Puff Marshmallow baby now. Oh, wow. When he hits the ground, <laughs> it makes the whole house shake. <laughs> Magnet baby. Okay. Yep. All of the different objects are just attaching themselves to the child. Oh my God. All the, look at all the, <laughs> all the food and everything just swirls around like a giant mail star. That looks so uncomfortable. Electric baby. Oh, just flat out on fire, baby. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't know I could set other things on fire. If I leave you there, will like the floor start on fire? <laughs> I thought I could finally get to use the uh, the fire extinguisher. 
And now we have, uh, I don't know, just drunken baby. Yep, drunken baby. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll finally change you. Can I change you while you're spinning? <laughs> don't mind me. I just found out that I could take decorations out of this decoration box. Really? I came to investigate. Oh. I put a, I put a little hat on the baby? Put outfit on baby. Boom. Right there. Get turkey from the freezer. Oh, you find, okay, now it's cooking time. Hey! Nice. Alrighty. Put the turkey. I mean, I, I, I understand. Oh. Oh, wow, that is a, that is a very judgmental stare. You know you love the oven. All right, I guess we can just watch the turkey get cooked. You really don't want to go in the oven? Here we go. Perfect. All right, turkey is in the oven. Uh, answer the door, the child's head is just sticking out. Now I really hope that's not the parents. Hello? Oh, here we go. Oh, you've already got the door for me. That's nice of you. This child is so well behaved. Right there. Okay, yep, yep, look at that. Right there, a little troglodyte robot. Something else for me to break. Put the presents under the tree. I don't remember where the tree is because all the, the entire area is just filled with cheese slices. Oh no, oh boy, I should have known. I set the oven for 27,000 degrees and of course this happens. Fire, it's hot. All right, now hold on. Can you put the fire out? I know, yeah, he loves it. Look at him. He's like, yay, the bowels of the underworld. My favorite. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Doing good. Fire's going out. Everyone gets to drink the delicious fire extinguishing substance. Oh. Crawl inside. I'm not doing this alone. You're coming with me. Straight up. He's like, you've put me inside of this oven so many times, Gray. It's only fair that you have to go inside the oven now. All right, fair enough. I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. I feel like I'm actually going backward. You know, look, was that the turkey just gobbling through the back of the, uh, the oven? I think it made the cool little turkeys out too. Uh, hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> what are you so sad about? Oh, turkey's done. Wow. That is perfect. Look at how well this came out. This is a dog food bowl. Is that a piece of a human? Looks like pieces of human. All right, everyone. Turkey is ready. I love the fact that you can just teleport from place to place because honestly, like taking care of you has just been destroying my lower back. All right, guess we can go sit down now. Can I open any of the presents? I'm just kind of curious. No time for presents. Oh, you can take more tree decoration. You may eat this tree decoration. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and enjoy our meal here. All right. You. Oh, okay. Is this, uh, are you gonna like watch me? Oh, you're both gonna watch me, huh? Now all the snowmen are gonna watch me. And the, the eye to the tentacle world is gonna watch me. Well, that's unfortunate. What's in this soup? That doesn't look like the turkey I made. It looks like hepatitis. Can I at least pick up a spoon or something? Nope, just gotta eat it with my hands. You got it. Yeah, just, just slurp it. Just the whole bowl in one shot. Oh, I don't know why I was throwing the eye away. Kind of protein-ish. Are those, um, those little kitten heads? Those little kitten heads on a stick? They're not actually kitten heads. They're kind of like uh, stuffed kitten heads. This looks delicious. Yeah, sure, why not? Grab a fork here. What do I want to eat first? We've got some delicious brain slices. Mmm, that is glorious. Delectable. Who put this together? Because I'm pretty sure all I did was throw the turkey inside of the oven. Keep eating! <laughs> That's my, those are my rules. All right, sure. Let's see, let's try some of the rabbit head over here. Oh, it's squishy. Oh, it's like a toy. It's like a stuffed animal. Oh, I never had my food run away from me before, but I guess I've also never eaten a stuffed animal on purpose. We have the uh, Russian nesting doll cat heads. Cat's like, don't you dare! Uh, oh wait, did I? 
If that cat just ate those cat heads, is that cannibalism? I feel like that's cannibalism. Finish your meal. Oh, I mean, I do enjoy, is this skim milk? I'm trying to reduce my fat intake. I'm hoping this is skim milk. I'm sure it's skim milk. Yeah, here we are. Oh, I can feel my cholesterol going up. Uh-oh. Oh, different, different things around me are slowly breaking. We go ahead and eat this plate now. Oh, the baby's levitating. Now, you may be thinking back to all of the horrible things that I put you through, baby. But do remember that I'm only getting $9 an hour to care for you. Am I inside the crib? Oh, it's the, it's the snowman I made. <laughs> it's the eat, it's the eat man. I'm so happy that he came to, oh. Oh, there's my yeet snowman. This is why I'm so glad I made the snowman say yeet. Because I'll always know my snowman compared to everyone else's snowman. I mean, I want to show you something. Presence, presence, Satan, alcohol. Right there. Alcoholic snowman equals the devil. Stop following me. In fact, yeah, close the door. I don't like it. Okay. Uh... I love that the little birthday party hat just stays on this snowman. How come my snowman isn't there? I feel kind of sad because I put all that work into my snowman and he's not. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Well, guess I know which way I'm going. Sure. Yay. Oh, it's my snowman. He is. Did you eat all the presents? Bro, that was like $30 in secondhand socks I got the kid. I butchered my turkey too. I am unhappy. I'm gonna start slaying fools. Present, right there. Does the present, is the present flammable? Oh, hold on, it's kind of difficult to get inside the oven. I'm not gonna lie. In fact, it's, it's repelling the oven. There we go. Told you it was possible. Mm-hmm. Gotta heat up the present a little bit. Child is on his ultra demon throne. Fantastic. Offer present. Is there anything else I can do besides offer this child a present? You give him like more bottle stuff? <laughs> he demands present! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'll give you this book. The Prince Dreamt of Snowman. How about this? You want this book? No. All right. I just wanted to see if there was anything else I could give to you besides the present. You may have this present. Hi. Oh, I, gave, I gave you the present. Oh, you want more presents? You want additional presents? Oh, you guys are just bringing... Really? Whose idea was that? Stop chewing on your scarf. Okay. All right, you need to stop that. Not gonna lie, as a Floridian, it is getting pretty cold in here. Um, I think I'm starting to get hypothermia, which I'm not super stoked about. Just going up to the gyrosphere, there's all the uh, snowballs that I have created over time. Can I jump to my death? No. Grab the present. Can I offer the present from here? <laughs> uh huh. Just kick that snowman. I just Sparta kicked that snowman right in his chiclets. Anyone else want a piece? Huh? Eh? Snowmen? Snow cowards? Remember what happened to the last guy? Here. How many more presents do you want? It's a glutton for presents. It needs power. Ah, the scepter of unholy wisdom. One of my personal favorites, along with this pickle. <laughs> I love how there's just a random pickle in here. <laughs> Is the pickle flammable? <laughs> Look, I had to try, all right. Okay. What's that? Oh. One of the snowmen is trying to bust in through the skylight. That's nice. All right, kid, I got new I got good news and I got bad news, man. I'm almost dead, so this is probably going to be the last present I can give you. There. You happy? That make you happy? Open the presents. Why are you open the presents? They're your presents. Okay, we have a gun. Great. We have some whoopee cushions. Actually, hold on, I need to see something. <laughs> Do you like that? Yay! Yay! Kid loves it. All right, then we have some spinning tops and then we have a mallet of death. Ugh. So we'll go ahead and toss you inside of the cot. That is a three pointer right there in case you're wondering. And thus it's time for the final present. From the three, he shoots! Oh, you have to give it to him. You can't even like, you can't even like do anything with it. 
I thought I could give it to the child, but I guess maybe it was my present. I'm not really sure. Hey. Oh. Well, that's good. I'm glad that he grew up to be something so spectacular. I was afraid that he was gonna end up being like a YouTuber or something when he grew up. Oh, it's my yeet snowman! Yay, the last thing I see before I die is my own creation! No! Oh! Why did you bring him here? I wanted $9 an hour! Oh, God! Not this time. <laughs> I'm still getting paid, right? So, uh, yeah, we got the scaling to work now. You can see it looks less like the baby is in his high chair and more like he's riding a motorcycle. <laughs> this actually lets me see that this child has been injured before I got here. The parents better not blame this on me. So as you can imagine, uh... <laughs> okay, I didn't know that, uh... <laughs> oh, God! What happened to his arms? I'm sorry! Here, just sit on the... Sit on the, yeah, just sit on the table. I don't know why, but when he leans back, he turns into a sad kernel of corn. So as you can imagine, uh, we have to take care of the child real quick. Oh, did he have demon eyes for just a second there? Whatever. Anyway, we have to take care of the child, but this time we're going to be taking care of the child as he slowly gets bigger and bigger. I don't know if I could fit you into the, into the oven. This is a problem. Um, hmm. I don't know, it might work. Hold on, let me see if just right, yeah, right there, good. Nope, oh, 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 hold on. If I can't get a baby into the oven, this isn't, it's not even worth it, come on. There it is, perfect. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I love that look, he's like, you do what to this game? If I can't get you in the oven at this size, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get you in the toilet. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. Well, actually, hold on. Can you go negative? <laughs> hold on. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> it's like some sort of SCP creature. Look at the arms. Ah, that's, it's like a little baby face hugger. <laughs> right now, this I can probably get inside the oven. <laughs> Come here, little baby a pod. Get inside the oven. Hey, it's like Spider Man. Get in there, you little ninja. Okay, hold on. I have another idea. I keep the hideous being right there. Okay. Oh, yeah, that works. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Is he just sitting on the floor or is he getting inside? Oh, I think it's working. <laughs> Look at this. Like little Russian nesting dolls. Anyway, we can always tell the original because of the arms. I appreciate that. All right, so the first thing is we actually have to feed the child. I haven't even gotten that far yet. This game is so much more like a horror movie now. All right, kid, you're welcome. <laughs> feed the baby. I <laughs> checked the whole thing. This kid's gonna start exorcist vomiting 35,000 gallons of milk. Put him over there, grab the nappy, chain. The best part is he's easy to find because of the aura of stench around him. Change the baby. Take the hideous thing to bed. Don't worry, child, we'll do the toilet thing in a minute. Oh, perfect. He does, he looks like a little spider. <laughs> Good night, spider fetus. When the parents come home, I'm gonna be like, yeah, sorry, I, uh, I kind of shortened the distance between your child's molecules, so uh, he's like 1 30th of his original size. Don't worry, I'll make him grow up quickly tomorrow. <laughs> Hold on, real quick, I gotta go quiet the- I always forget where this child teleports to. Where are you? You're, you're so small that it's, I can't see you. Are you inside the chair? No. Where is it? <laughs> I actually can't find a child because he's too small. <laughs> all right, hold on, we can fix this. Oh no, I didn't think about this. All the baby, yeah, you know what? It's fine, whatever. All right, I finally found the correct baby. Here we are. I'm not sure if you can still fit inside of the bed though. Alrighty, and there you go. <laughs> That looks so uncomfortable, have <laughs> sweet dreams. Stop opening the door! Oh no. Oh, that could, the foot is coming to the forehead. I thought this one baby had like a giant tumor. What was that? What was that just then? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I can't. <laughs> I can't get through all the children. Eventually, because we're we're able to get like through the clipping of the game, I have to make the child bigger than the skybox. I don't know if the game can handle it, but I guess we'll find out in just a minute. Oh, actually, 
There's something else I can do. I can finally help the family. Hold on. All right, ready? Ah, oh, crap. Finally. See, now when the family opens up the refrigerator, tons of levitating milk. I'm pretty sure this is the real one. Look, I didn't, I didn't throw that bottle up by accident, okay? The baby likes his milk shaken, not stirred. Oh, we do have to grow you up a little bit. Eh. Oh, now the top of his head is missing because it's going through the floor. You look like Stewie now. Hold on, I need to see something real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> yes! <laughs> hold on, can I feed you from here? Totally worked! This kid's probably like, hey, can you turn off the air conditioning upstairs? Because my head is cold. Alrighty, gotta bring you over to the changing table here. I hadn't actually thought about this. Uh, yeah. Alright, get the, through the... <laughs> get through the door! <laughs> A kick! I'm sorry! Here we go, here we go. It's fine now. Right, so gotta sit on the, get on the changing mat. I actually can't, I can't get him. Oh, I got him to the changing table. Okay. Yeah, see, part of his vibrating hand was on there, so it counted. It's fine. Grab that. Are you still, ah! Look, all right, it's freaky because his mouth is so wide. You could fit an entire pizza in there. Oh, hold on. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I do appreciate that he can almost turn his eyeballs inside of his own skull. Actually, maybe a little. Yeah, look, they're doing like 190 degree turns. Uh, there we go. The best part about changing the baby when he's like this is I, I can't really miss. See? All right, take the baby to bed. Oh, hold on. Um, forgot about it. All right, but you know what? Just, just chill out there for a second. All right, now I don't know if this will work. I'm obviously willing to give this a shot. Maybe that's, yeah, maybe he's inside the toilet. I don't know. Okay, ready? And toilet seat. And can I get the toilet? Also, <laughs> I turned the toilet into like a giant centipede. This is very concerning. Ah, 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 oh no. I just tried to, I tried to do the toilet, it didn't work. Ah, ah. <laughs> ah somebody called the exorcist. I'm sorry. Come on! I, I'm trying to get into the toilet! <laughs> okay, this is a terrible idea! Ah! Um... We're gonna forget that's there. He's like, where are my siblings? They're taking a bath. Alrighty, let me just shove you through the doorway here. There we go. And into the bed. Perfect. It's less like a crib and more just like an ottoman now. Alright, so the babies were too big for the toilet. Hold on. It's all right. Okay, I have to test this in the name of science, all right? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's in the drain somewhere. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is happening. Oh, no. I forgot. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh! It, like, regenerated his size. Oh, baby's crying. Hold on. Gotta go settle the baby here. Shouldn't be a big deal. Hey. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't actually get into the room to turn the lights out. I hadn't thought about this. Okay, you ready to see something truly horrifying? <laughs> I can't even, I can't. <laughs> Hold on. I think I, there we go. <laughs> I love the lighting. It looks so evil. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna let the auto clicker just go wild in the end here. All right, let me see if I can actually turn off the light. I don't think I can. Hold on, I gotta back him down a little bit here. Maybe, maybe, we'll, maybe we'll try it like 10. What was that? Did I get a high score somewhere? All right, close the door. I can reach the door. Oh, there we go. Got it. What happens in here while we're, while we're getting a cheese toasty? Where do I have to go to activate this? I guess you I guess you legitimately have to walk on the on the stairwell. Alright, alright, I'm going. <laughs> Feed me. Feed you what? The kid needs an entire shipping container of Cheez Its! Alright, now luckily, I've thought about this already, as you can see. I got this 450 gallon. I'm stuck in here because I can't see the door. What I was trying to say is I got this 450 gallon tub of milk 
to feed baby Zilla. How did I? Uh, I'm coming. I have to feed the child on the on the second floor. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right, back over to the changing table. <laughs> no. Oh no! I've created some sort of baby black hole. He's folded in on himself. Can I move you, or did I did I lose him? Uh, All right, I'm sure he's fine. Oh no, I actually can't move him. He's truly just stuck in the ground. <laughs> This is horrifying. It yeah, just kind of, just kind of spastically move over to the bathroom. Oh, I can kind of, I can kind of move him. Oh, there we go. I got him. We're good. Er, no, I didn't. Oh, this is happening. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yes. All right, get through the door. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I've never felt so successful. Here, get on the changing mat. <laughs> Take baby to the changing table. I mean, technically he's there. Like he's convulsing on the changing mat. He's right there. Uh, come on. Look at this. Oh no. All right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. All right, we'll bring him back to baby size. Uh, so um, I brought the baby to the changing table and he he melded himself with the furniture. Don't worry, it's just one of his many X Men powers. It's fine. <laughs> ah! Gets me every time. Yes! Auto clicker. Go! Are you ready? <laughs> it's so much larger than the skybox. Hold on, let me let me see if I get the let me see if I get the lighting back to normal. <laughs> is bigger than the entirety of a room. This was always meant to happen. Well, I made the baby a thousand feet tall. And now all you can see is his judgmental eyes peering at us as the portal to another dimension looms overhead. Voyager 19 is a game about space, which means everyone in it is going to die. A research mission has gone missing. And so you've been shipped off in a metallic shoebox in order to find out exactly what went wrong. Mission. But they give me like a TV from 1979? Planets photographed, zero of four. Planets recorded, zero of four. Okay, navigation system. You know what would have been great? A user manual. Oh, this is awesome. I only have enough power to use a few things at once. Why wouldn't you? No joke, when I said they put me inside of a metallic shoebox, I wasn't kidding. This entire craft that I'm in is like six by three. Depends on how tall I am, to be honest with you. Uh, sure. Here we go. I don't need any thrusters. Just turn it on the radio, just to see if anything interesting pops up. Grab a picture real quick. Looks pretty deadly. Not centered. I'm sorry, okay? Is that not good enough for you? Are you kidding me? Not centered. There, how much... How, how, how centered do you want it? Hey, we don't need no camera. I'll turn on the thrusters for you, okay? What happens if I use all the power? What happens? Oh, everything's fine. I thought things would start failing and I would catch on fire. Not all, not at all. Travel. Am I traveling? I don't, I don't really know. I can't tell. Oh, you can turn your craft. I didn't realize that you turn your craft with basically the undo and redo button from Microsoft Windows. Picture good. <laughs> uh, all right. I, I guess, I guess let's go over to the small sad planet and over here. And up here. Yeah, right there. How long does it take to travel? Oh, never mind. My shoebox is incredibly fast. Does this thing got superchargers on it? Now, supposedly, eventually, I'm going to die horribly here. Not because I know what's going to happen, but because it's a space game. 100%. All right. There's a lot going on in space. I'm pretty sure that space is supposed to be, like, uh, you know, pretty quiet. Not centered. Yeah, I know. Beautiful. Picture good. This game is so space appropriate. It's like, it's like you think that something's going to happen, but nothing actually happens. Just rolling over here to the next planet. I'm kind of surprised there's not like a space whale or something that gets in your way and decides to bust on through the, the spaceship. Well, spaceship. Ah. Uh, oh. Hold on, we got, we, I got something coming in here. 
Something coming in on the uh, on 101.9, the Beat FM. What we got going on here? Take picture. Nothing in picture. I said take picture. This is where I'm going to end up finding like some sort of horrible creature in my picture, aren't I? Look at that. Right there, it's another planet. Unless this planet has a knife on it, I don't know how it's going to end up killing me. Picture good. Photo all system planetary bodies from the starlit side. Oh. So, have I just been getting lucky? Didn't really do that on purpose. I mean, I'm, gl I'm glad it's been happening, but... There you go. AX3. The last planet. Where's the star even at? They never really described that. Getting a lot of interference over here. No one's screaming for help yet. Bam. Picture good. All right, I got I got all the pictures. Is that it? Anything else I need to do? Mission's completed. Oh, I didn't know there was a mission. Complete mission. Entering hibernation. Oh, I did it. Oh, I have to do this seven times? How's power doing? Do you get one less power every single time? <laughs> That'd be amazing. All right, no, we still have all power. Everything's fine. All right, what do we got? What do we got now? All right, we're, we're parked again right outside of another planet. Why does the background look so colorful? Looks like someone was messing around with an etch sketch All right, let's turn on the radio here. That is not the sound a planet makes. That is the sound the demon lord of Satania makes. Picture good. I'm gonna start up here. Travel. I love that I don't even have to be good at driving. Pretty much this craft just does it by itself. Like, I could have totally crashed into that blue planet in the middle there. And if it was me, I honestly would have. Just kind of checking out to make sure nothing else is in here with me. You never know. You get a lot of hitchhikers in space. I love how we came all the way out here to take pictures of all these planets, and the planets, like, aren't doing a trick. They're not doing anything. Two of three planets. Am I gonna get iron lunged? I feel like I'm gonna get iron lunged. I'm gonna park on this side of the planet. 100% there's gonna be like a space frog that just decides to breach its way through the walls over here. Am I a convict? Probably not. I'm, I'm probably someone with legitimate skill and power. I just had to make room for the other people with skill and power, so they got rid of me. Picture. Oh, not in light. Okay, so that does matter. All right, well, I guess park on this side of the planet. There you go. Nothing in picture. Yo, where are you guys keeping this planet at? Oh, hold on. Picking something up over here. It's kind of amazing if there was just like some random alien doing like a kickflip or something. Picture, good. Mission complete. One of these times I'm gonna wake up from hibernation and there's gonna be like a knife in my groin or something. What's the mission this time? Three planets. What's happening to my, oh, it's my system. I thought, you know, Maybe the, the technology was just picking up additional radiation particles or something like that. Nope. All my stuff is just going haywire. It's good. I still have my feet. Yep. I mean, all my limbs are still there. You know how you're supposed to, like, work out in space at zero G? Otherwise, it's bad for you. There's, like, nothing for me to do to work out. Okay, so you do get less power. <laughs> all right, we're right outside of a planet here, so I don't need any thrusters. I will, of course, toggle on the radio. What's that sound? What's this? It sounds like I'm in Canada or something. What's with the whipping winds? I'm in space. All right, whatever, I guess. Well, that's a nice looking planet. We finally got a planet that looks kind of legit. All right, that's, en that's enough of the space blizzard. Beauty. We don't need radios. Where we're going. My internal organs are tingling very violently. Uh, is that the radiation doing that? Is that bad or... What are we- what are we dealing with here? Oh, it's like Dollar Store Jupiter. That's nice. There we are. Alright, what do we got radio-wise? Darth Vader. Oh, I'm sorry! Their internet is going out over in Jupiter! <laughs> that makes sense. Sorry. Always gotta- gotta go from, like, the bottom area over here. Ah, the Magella Ves vessel. Oh, is this a- this is not a planet? Is this like an actual thing? There can be like a bunch of bodies chilling out in space. I don't have a problem with that. I'm just kinda- just wanna warm up. Well, that's a problem. Remember how I said that I could be a worse driver? Cause I would crash into everything? Obviously using the autopilot wasn't doing well. Oh boy, alright. Well, let's go over here to the power and turn off- Oh, everything's off. Camera, on. Radio, on. Oh, and I need thrusters for this. Alright, what hit the friggin' shuttle? What we got going on here? Anything out there? I swear to God, if I don't at least get like a beholder eye, 
or like a limb, maybe like a human limb, just chilling out. I'd be very annoyed. Great, nothing. Navigation on, camera on, let's do this. All right, let's try and get there without crashing into something. Fantastic, nothing in picture. Where are you guys hiding this planet at? Do I have to point in the, in the actual correct direction of the planet? Oh yeah, there it is. Well, planet in this case, you know, space station where everyone's dead. All right, now to turn on the radio so I can hear the screams of the unfortunate. Let's see here, we'll turn the camera off, turn the radio on, and start with the screaming. That's not very screamy at all. Mission complete. Bam, you have encrypted files. Oh, no joke, I would have never looked at the file system on this, on this, <laughs> this computer. Ship log, decrypt. Well, it's a lot of effort to do this. Time left, three years. Three years! All right, I mean, I guess I'll wait until it's done Get you know, I'll just enter hibernation, let three years go by, maybe by the time I wake up, it'll finally decrypt itself. Yo, this monitor is dying. What is this, like an Acer? All right, let me go ahead and decrypt the files. Let me see what we got going on here. Anomaly detected, okay. Target planet, potentially habitable. Does not exist, great. Start decrypting this journal entry. Four oh years. I think there's three planets here. I can't really tell because uh, everything looks like garbage. How much power do I have? Three bars, huh? <laughs> three bars. It's like dealing with my, uh, my cell phone. Camera, radio, thrusters, sensors, take picture. I'm gonna end up going to a planet and you have like sweet rave parties going on or something. There's all the EDM music at in space. All right, here we are at uh, planet PL1. Am I gonna run into something else on my way over there? What kind of adaptive cruise control does a spaceship have? Whoop. Radio, pictures. If you're trying to scare me, game, do you do you understand the things I have been through on this channel? Simply ending up on Satan's dance floor is honestly no big deal. I was curious what would happen if I turned my life support off. <laughs> Apparently, it doesn't like it. Yo, were any of these were any of these plants supposed to be habitable? I'm not gonna lie, so far they all look like garbage. Don't you do it. Don't you hit something while I'm driving. Oh, good job. Uh, that a planet? Looks like a ball of death. That right there is the Death Star. That is not a planet. That is a Dyson Sphere. That is right out of my vacuum cleaner. Well, mission complete. All right, let's find out. Who here thinks that the uh, screen is gonna look even worse? God. Oh, Lord. Woo. <laughs> yeah. Certain physical principles hold true across massive side differences and create illusions of similarity. A, a cell looks like a star in supernova. Okay. Oh, what if these similarities were applied to life at different scales as well? Am I going to get murdered by something from Attack on Titan? That would be fantastic because I need it to happen before my eyes explode out of my head from the monitor dying. How much power do I got left? Two bars! You had to put me in the middle of two planets? Are you kidding me? All right. Turn on the navigator and the thrusters. I have no idea where the light is in this solar system. Turn the radio on, do a quick recording while my astral friends over there are trying to call 911. Turn that off. Camera on, thrusters on. Take a picture. Hope to God nope. that I'm in the light. Blazing planet. Sad. To swing around the side of the planet there. You want to hug it. You want to hug it real slow. We have come across a very loud planet. Second try. This has certainly captured the sadness of space. I, I don't know if that's a P or a D for the two. I really can't tell. This is kind of like taking an eye test without my glasses on. Oh. Large heartbeat. Just chilling out on the radio. Right there. You see that? There's a heartbeat. Let me get beaten by the, the space slender man. Sweet. Right, I'm not in the light, hold on. Are you ready? Right on! Yeah. I'll tell you, I've been traveling for the last 12 years without a single accident. I should get like a like a reduction in my insurance costs or something. Maybe even be longer than 12 years. I don't know, time goes kind of fast up here in space. Someone just kind of blowing on a glass or something. All right, it's right over to the right. Oh, I'm already, I'm already facing that direction. Oh, look at it, I didn't even move. Bam, one planet left. 
Yeah, just kind of navigationize my way back over here. Very good. If I'm gonna get murdered, it's, it should be right now, right? Like, this is the last planet in this particular system here. So this is the time for something to latch on to my, my little sad, like, graham cracker floating through space and try and rip it in half. Nope. Well, I guess not. Anyone trying to speak at me through the radio? No. Okay, so now we're due left. Yeah, just swing it on around here. Well, I was hoping for a demon creature, and instead I got a planet. It says it's not in light, it's totally in light. You know what would be great? If the sun was a lot more violent. I would really appreciate that. Picture good, picture good. All right, we got all the planets. I'm going to sleep. I better not wake up. I'm gonna wake up, aren't I? Your pixelated screen is driving me crazy. Oh my god! Oh, there's that kid. <laughs> you can't see anything. What is the... What is the jur- Oh, there's got another journal entry. I think it's a journal entry. I don't know. There's just a bunch of numbers with the- Maybe that says encrypt. These predators may mimic food. What? <laughs> wait, wait, what? <laughs> One example is the snapping turtle whose tongue resembles a worm. I know all about them. I live in Florida. A snapping turtle is like a kitten with a gun. See, the kitten is there and is like, look at me, I'm so cute, I'm a kitten. But then when you get close to him, he takes out his Glock and shoots you. So is the same for the snapping turtle. Everyone's like, oh, a turtle. Turtles aren't violent unless they're snapping turtles. Then they try and eat your flesh. Anyway, thanks for the uh, anatomy, biology, whatever that was. How much power do I have? Two bars still, eh? Did you leave me next to a planet at least? Yes, you did. Good. Turn the sensors on. Turn the radio on. Do the radio thing. All right, are we close to the planet? Sort of. Tell me there's only three planets in the system, please. Welcome to some number W1. Maybe it's a V? I'm not really sure. This game is really good at making you feel like you're drunk all the time. Radio. Car noises. Okay, maybe slurpy noises. Yeah, it just sounds like an, like an alien having an Oreo shake over at McDonald's. Where's this planet located? Should be like right- Oh, not in light, really? How about that? It's even darker. You know what I'm really bad at? Spatial awareness, okay? Picture good. You're lying! This picture is not good. At all. Where is this even printing out to? Where are these pictures going? Let's chill out on this side of the planet over here. It should do well. Air quotes. What is going on in space? Why are there so many radio stations in space? That's the first legitimately good planet I... What is that? What is that that's coming into the planet? What's that? You see that right there? It's like a... Like a large amoeboid. And it'll just look... Actually, it just kind of looked like a coconut. That was weird. I want my space coconut back. Alright, well, there's only a couple missions left. Yeet us up to the last planet over here. This planet called. Oh, it's just question marks. 100% we're dying. 100. If they didn't even, if they didn't even put a, a number on this planet, murder planet. Love it. Power off. We don't need navigation where we're going. All right. Give me the radio. Anything? Anything good? It, oh yeah, there we go. I was gonna say it's jump scare time. A little bit of the heartbeat. This thing has like the slowest resting heartbeat in the entire animal or space space creature kingdom. It goes. This thing got like three beats a minute. Right. I found the one ultra demon creature and it's hibernating. Uh, yeah, just kind of up top, right about there. Honestly, should be perfect. I don't know if that's a planet. That may be an egg. Maybe some sort of demon, demon space worm egg. Mission complete. Sorry, I had to decrypt this last file. It's always good when your download is only three years long. If I wake up and there's a fire on board, that would bring me a lot of solace. Hey, there's not, which means I can barely see anything. If you're gonna kill me, do it already, because my eyes are starting to go crazy. He's changed our course and disabled the comms, right? So the committee can, can't remotely override our route when they find out this is dangerous. The ship is designed to last at least 60 years, but with the route, we're gonna be out here almost 100. I know, very sad. Something about pixels, sub-pixels of telescope images. I know all about pixels. They're violating my irises right now. Okay, what do we got navigation-wise? This one planet, one single planet, sad planet zero. Is that what this is? SC, sad creature zero. What's the mission say? Oh god, there's four planets here, are you kidding me? One bar! I got one single bar. 
Well, I can't navigate, so it really doesn't matter. I just, I guess I just gotta line up. Camera, on. I'm pretty sure the camera's already lined up. Go. Oh my God. I've got to turn off the camera so that I can turn on the thrusters so that I can turn this thing. Bam. I hope it saves where we're going. Uh, that's kind of a planet right there, I think. You know, it'd be great if I didn't have to toggle the radio on every single time. Can I just leave the radio on? All right, at least I'm in the light. I can tell from the, the sad, tumorous growth kind of jutting out from the right side of the screen. Oh, boy. All right, so the light is coming from the left on the picture. The left is the top. Right about like that. No. Not centered. Oh, please be said. Thank you so much. I got a picture of a golf ball. That's all that is, is a golf ball in space. All right, kind of bloop on over there. I make sure this thing is pointed downward. Uh, kind of more like that. Thrusters off, radio on. Listen to the sick beats. There it is. Good enough. Can I get this first try? Boom! Don't mind me. Just navigating around some planets, I think. All right, thrusters, go ahead and face upward. This is what happens when your computer gets cancer. Heartbeat? Why do I feel like these are all eggs? Is that why they all have heartbeats? Is one of them gonna hatch and murder me? I can only hope. <laughs> Picture time. Oh, it's a beautiful planet. It's not centered. Of course. I can't believe this. We found a secondary Earth. Obviously, the mission is going to be a massive success. I will be heralded as a hero. Bam, right there. Beautiful greenery. Really? I'm right there. Earth 2 is like six feet away. Also, how are you not able to break this ship? The ship is like a, a space-worthy almond joy. I'm the almond inside. There's really nothing protecting me except some coconut. I love that I can't even use, can't even use anything anymore. <laughs> Everything's off. I just want to see if I can take a picture again, just because Is that planet's still there. Like, oh, come, come on. Oh, am I being tractor beamed into the planet? Is that what's going on? It kind of looks like a pizza, but all the slices are very diet. Hold on real quick. We're going to turn on the, the, the radio because now I need to know. All right, what do we got going on? Okay. All right, still just a heartbeat. The heartbeat may be going faster and faster. I'm honestly not 100% sure. How's the mission going? Did we complete the mission? Whoa, Error. Oh, God. Does it say engines? Something. Engines are sad. I don't really know. Sad engines. This radio station sucks. Turn the camera back on. It's kind of like a movie. Take picture. Well, that right there is the heart of the Dark Lord. Yes. Did I just get eaten by my own computer? Voyager 19 has failed to establish communications. The losses cannot be hidden from the public. Okay. Oh, that's it. <laughs> it's so appropriate that the computer drives you crazy that it kills you. I mean, obviously something was coming through the computer, but I like to just pretend it's the computer. Hey folks, hope it's this episode of Voyager 19. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.